guaranteed rate field on the south side of Chicago. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the Oakland Athletics going up against the Chicago White Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now and getting the start for the White Sox Dylan Cease four pitch guy he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance so we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later maybe second third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes. Ryan Noda leading things off and takes a strike. Righty to the plate. On the ground right side. And he handles it himself for the out. And time now to check out the A's lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate Chris. Well, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air so you know you'll see at times I'm sure with two strikes what looks like a half swing they can get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent pop. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. That's out to center field. Robert moves under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. That is the right field. So here's Brown at the plate. Seth. Brown goes six foot one hitting third in the lineup usually in left but today he's starting in right field and that's, that's down it away well the big play in my opinion from right field is that throw from right field to third base longest one in the game and you got to have a pretty strong arm hopefully he can play that one hop nicely if he has an opportunity to throw out a runner check swing no appeal and now three and oh Next offering is in for a strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. 3-1 and he couldn't come up with it. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if he gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Brent Rooker in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Cease, 28 years old, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2014. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Two more. In the dirt, but kept close. Nice job behind the plate there. Two outs. In the air, center field. Robert sizes this one up, and that is that. One left for Oakland. Now it's the White Sox turn. It's a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at guaranteed rate field. And on the hill in this one, number 38. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, this guy's got sort of a tweener. Not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve. It's in between and he adds and subtracts velocity on it which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing they need to be successful. And a pitch. 
Andrew ball Benintendi one. in the box now as he leaves that ball one up ball high. Ball Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. The 1 0. And there's the strike. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. So a man on base to start the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Andrew Vaughn now. And that one fouled off. Benintendi gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Line drive. Base hit. Lead runner touches second, hitting for third. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. So runners at the corners, nobody out. And now it's Luis Robert. First pitch, and he just misses. Singing maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Ball. And now two and nothing. Two and out. Next offering misses. Three balls, no strikes. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. In for a strike. Three and one. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Kicks and deals. Right through there for a strike. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can. He goes down looking. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Two on, one out. Here is Moncada. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. First and third, one down. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. At the belt, and fires. Ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. In comes the first run of the game as the White Sox take the lead. Well, it comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. One down. Aloy Jimenez getting ready to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in. You got to try to get another one or maybe two. And that's off inside, the inside edge. And the count is 2-0. Oh. That's down and in. 
Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. Dominic Fletcher waits on deck. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And a big swing and a miss. Three balls, one strike. And that's, that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So bases loaded with one away. Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Back there. On the warning track. And holds it in. Both runners tagging. He'll score on the sack fly. And they lead by two. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Keep an eye on this at bat because even though it's early, it could change the outcome of this game. Look for your pitch and attack it. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just oh, sorry, cleans up his mechanics a little bit. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. So now one and two. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. But two runs for them, and they jump ahead. We head to the second on the south side. It's the White Sox two, and the A's nothing. Set for the start of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Shea Langoliers. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Strike two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Way high there. One and two to count. Gets a piece and stays alive. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I've been in many games as a fan. And that's just foul. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. And another ball. Got him looking. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. This is J.J. Blade. In the air, left field, down the line. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And there are two down. The center fielder, number one. Este Yuri Ruiz digs in now. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Swing and a pop-up. Lopez should have this one. Brings it in for the third out. And one, two, three go the A's. They trail it here, two nothing. Bottom of the second. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. 
I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. On the ground to first. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Oh. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. And that's out number one on a tough play. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Foul ball. Base is empty, one away. Bottom half of inning number two. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That one back there. And out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, and they add a run. It's 3 0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. And that ball, one just misses. Out. A ball and no strikes. Ah. Got it started a little too early. Ball, Strike one. Frank. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally, we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? That and another ball. ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Toro makes the grab, two down. The first baseman, number 25, Andrew. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Check swing. Now to look down to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Two out spaces empty. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Inside and it hit him. He had two strikes on him and he hit him. So two down. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power? That's right. You're talking about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. The lefty, the 1-0. -oh. And there's a foul ball. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Nope, Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. And it's fouled away. And as well, lots of pop in that bet, so you combine the slug with really good defense. This one smoked out to left. 
And in one hops the wall. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. Everything came together for him. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here is Yohan Moncada. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Fastball for a strike. 1-1. Two on, two outs. Out towards right center field. Brown on his way over. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3-0. Back here on the south side, leading off, Abraham Toro. The A's in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the late off, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Swings through that one. one one. Strike two. Now just the cement makes her slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. And that skips in the dirt. Right-hander kicks, deals. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. He sends it out of here, and they inch closer. It's 3-1. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. Digging in for Oakland, Nick Allen. Hit in the air, right field. Fletcher under this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Then there's one down. Now that the first baseman. Ryan. And now the first baseman, Ryan Noda. 0 for 1 so far. And he swings and misses at the oh, initial the offering. Count. The White Sox leading by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Off the mark there. And the count is one, one and two. two. And there's a ball. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. One down, base is empty. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Zach Gellock will hit next. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. That 
that misses. And that is ball one. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So he's got to stay ready for it. Tying run at the plate. Ball left outside. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Seth Brown up next for the A's. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Ball one. Yeah, the right hater deals. Aye. Noda, the runner at first with two gone. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. A's draw closer on this homer. It's now a 3 1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the White Sox DH, Aloy Jimenez. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these White Sox showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. Aye. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. The pitch foul ball it stays nothing in two and that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later popped up first base side and that will drop foul field two swing and a miss struck him out one away Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Dominic Fletcher now at the plate. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. Top of the zone for a called strike. Down the line. And yeah, that drops foul. Kicks and fires. Goes down looking. Now batting. Paul DeYoung getting ready to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Swing and a foul straight back. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Clips the corner, and it's nothing in two. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of the third. Foul ball still 0-2. The pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Pitch misses. Two and two. Bounce to third. Gathers and throws to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Down in order go the White Sox. But they still lead it 3-1.
And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Brent Rooker. Rooker. Cease back to work. Fouled off down the right side. You know, these athletics showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Here's the strike. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And that's in the dirt. Fly ball down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. And he deals. Three balls, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. And he went, says Larry Bullard. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider, tried to sit in between, just not able to put the bat on the ball. Here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. Caught looking his first time up. Up and in, 1-0. and oh. Ball one, no The White Sox holding on to a two-run lead. Top half of inning number four. Wouldn't two chase that ball. time. Next offering is in for a strike. And downstairs. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. The high heat, too much on that one. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? Blade in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Chases that one upstairs. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. And that one got a piece of him. Oh, not a whole lot behind that pitch. It's off speed, but it still stings. Getting hit by a fastball is a whole different story. Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. Flied out his first time. That's in there. It's 0-1. Ball one there. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Lede off of first with two away. That one at 95 missed up top, and it's two and one. On the ground to third. On to Lopez. That ends the frame. The A's strand one, and they still trail it here, three to one. Bottom of the fourth, and now Nicky Lopez. The second baseman. And the pitch. And there's the strike. Right 
grounder into the outfield for a knock. And the leadoff man aboard. He was all over that one. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And the batter now, Martin Maldonado. And a strike in there. 0 and 1. one this to center field Ruiz sizing this one up brings it in and there's one away back to the top of the White Sox lineup Ben Intendi to the plate singled and scored back in the first he's one for two And a foul ball. Man at first, one away. In the air, left side. And that rolls into the corner. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. Second and third, one gone. And now, Andrew Vaughn. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Two on, one out. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Now Infield back. was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Swing and a tap where the rolls foul. Two outs. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. Here on the south side, ready now for the fifth inning. Digging in, Abraham Toro. Cease, back to work. Fought off foul. You know, these A's just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. With just one hit in the game, they're clearly frustrated and searching for answers at this point. Fouled off, he was late. Thing about frustration, though, it gets you nowhere as a hitter. It's easy to get there, but the best thing you can do is simplify the approach and one take ball, things one pitch strikes. at a time. Kicks and deals. Hard hit left side. Throws across oh. the diamond, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Nick Allen. Up next for the A's. He's 0 for 1. All one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Ryan Noda digs in now. 
And that's off the inside edge. And it's 1 0. With the tying run at the plate, and we're at the top of the fifth. Next pitch is downstairs. Two balls, no strike. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. That one misses. Now three and one. Zach Gella next to bat for the A's. That one lifted to left. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Out number two. The Athletics down to their last out. Now it's the second baseman, Zach Gellar. There's a strike. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Two outs and one in scoring position. That one not close. Now one and two. Cease is just one strike away. And another ball. On the ground, right side. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. 3-1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shelby. Thanks for joining us.